How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Discovery. Reading. Today we're actually fitting some carbon bits to the good old XD Avil, which we've got in this cool little box here. Uh, we're going to show you in a second, but we've also got a five year service as well, so let's have a look at what we're going to. Alright guys, so here are the carbon panels that I've got here. So, if you've not guessed already, this is kind of where they go. So, here's the XD Avil here. And these are the current uh, ones that you've got. So, oh, so what these are, I think they're made out of uh, steel. Um, but uh, obviously that's where the belt is, the cam belt um, goes behind there. Um, so when you take it off, um, behind there's the belt and then I'm going to replace them with the carbon ones. Now, I already know these weigh actually quite a bit. Um, but as you can see here, like the main reason why I'm changing it, see that like, it's got it's like corroded here, like the uh, the brushed uh, metal. It's like kind of like got some corrosion there, got it there as well, so it doesn't look all that good. Um, so these are coming off, and we're replacing them with the carbon ones. So carbon ones here from Ilmberg Carbon. So yeah, that's it there. You get them all in these kind of nice like uh, uh, you know string lock. Uh, uh, fabric bag so they don't get all scratched up in delivery it comes in this box here and you get um, quite a few of the bags there with all the bubble wrap and all that kind of stuff and you know you got some spare extra bits in there so and you get the instructions as well but I'm getting the guys at Ducati Preston to do it um, but yeah this is what they look like you know um, really really lightweight as you can see it's a full carbon fibre uh, piece and they've got little uh, aluminium like sections there for the screws and stuff really really cool stuff um, the only thing I will say is the actual uh, so these here these are uh, to recreate the look of the ex diavels you know uh, diamond cut bit these are actually um, like decals um, but um, they're they're not like a chrome uh, like like uh, on the XD Avil, uh, but they're not actually decals, they're machined. But these are more of a brushed silver, so it will look a bit darker. So if I kind of like hold it up here, you'll see what I mean. Like, you know, it's, um, you can see the difference there. So that's the chrome and that's the, the decal. So it looks, you know, a bit different, not as bright, but to be honest, it'll still look good. Like, you know, um, some people like it, but that's the, uh, you know, against it there. So it's not it's not that much of a difference, just a little bit darker. Um, but it should look really nice with the carbon on it. Um, and I'll definitely save some weight. What I'll do is I'll just take these over uh, to the kitchen. I've got some scales in there and we'll see how much they weigh. Okay guys, so these are my scales. So you're on zero grams at the minute, yeah. So we're gonna put this in here. 174 grams, Let's see with this one as well. So the both pieces are in there now and we're at the 378 grams which is extremely lightweight 378 grams um, so it's going to be interesting to see once the old ones are taken off um, how much they actually weigh in comparison so we're going to head over to uh, Ducati Preston now Bikes again it's five years service Plus we're fitting these as well at the same time and it's going to be an expensive one. Alright guys, so I'm going to wear the original casing now that the old one's off. So let me just reset here. So that's on zero. So I can already feel from just picking these things up how much heavier they are. So I'm going to chuck one in there. And then let's see, you put this one in. Yeah, so I think it was, was the uh, carbon ones with 378 grams, but look at these, 1,081 grams, so over one kilogram there. So it's a huge, absolutely huge difference in weight saving uh, by going for the carbon fiber ones. So well worth the upgrade. Okay guys, so I'm back with the bike and I've just come back from Ducati to get that bolt fitted. But it turns out it's actually 
been manufactured a bit wrong because uh, you might not be able to see on the camera but as you can see the hole that Ilmberger have made does not line up to the thread on the original casing so the screw isn't going all the way in because it's not going through the thread which is a pain in the anus so these ones are all fine you know they're all line up perfectly but this one this one doesn't and if you put this one in first then it throws the other ones out as well so it's just not been manufactured correctly which really really sucks um so i'm a bit stuffed i've sent an email over to ilmberger to get this looked at and see what they think but you know i would have thought the ducati mechanic he should have really told me about the issue before finishing fitting it really because otherwise i would have just put the oem ones back on for now while i mess about with this but um yeah anyway is what it is um so hopefully ilmberg will get back to me and they might have to send me out a replacement part that's that's correctly done so we'll see forgot to mention also they've sent this bolt so basically uh the original bolt is this big which is a bit short but they've sent me this one in the kit because the um on the on the carbon fiber version this stands out a bit more this hole it's actually on the original it's further back so you need to sh you use a shorter bolt but with the carbon one you need a longer one so they sent me this but it's bright silver which is just retarded um but on all the pictures i've seen of this kit on this bike this the screw itself is black so i don't know why they would send me a silver one which is just stupid but as you can see that kind of go in there all the way to the back and screw in to the original casing but that's not the case so check it out guys i've had to return the carbon cam cover here i've been speaking to ilmberger and they said i sent them a video of the issue and they said, yeah, it looks like there's a problem because it's not lining up properly and they've never seen that before. So they want the part back to check it against another part and make sure there's, you know, what's going on what, and figure out what's happened because obviously there's an issue. So I've not had time to take it back to Ducati to get it changed um, because I need to send it ASAP. So I've had a go at doing it myself. So here's the part and basically i've had to take it off myself now it's not straightforward um thankfully jared campisi you've probably seen his channel but he's done a video of doing the same installation with this exact same ilmberg carbon piece he I didn't have any issues with that but he um he showed on the video how to take the original cam casing off so i've had to Take off the belly pan, take off this, this is the, um, you know, the the brakes. I have to take that off. You have to also loosen the radiator bolts on both sides. So I've done it on that side. Um, and done it on this side as well. Um, and then it'll give you enough give to push the radiator forward and get the piece out. Cause you have to kind of go bottom first and then twist it and then pull it out so <laughs> it's not easy to take up <laughs> thinking you can see on the bolt so yeah it's easy to loosen but it's not easy to remove because everything gets in the way so that's one thing we need to sort out and then i need to send this part off to uh, uh ilmberger so it's on its way back to germany to get sorted out so yeah proper taking the jam out of my donut this Okay guys, so sorry I forgot to start recording while I was putting it back together but I've got the new part now and as you can see I've already kind of gone ahead and fitted it here uh, but you know one thing I have noticed flipping it, it's just never ending isn't it but look there's like a this sticker is a slightly off colour to this one like it's got a bit of a bluey tinge to it whereas these ones match so obviously it's been a misprint but you know what 
at least the sticker I can replace quite easily without unbolting anything. <laughs> you know, I just get a heat gun, take it off, get a new sticker on. So I'll send them a picture of that because that's obviously not right. But yeah, not been <laughs> keep having issues with this thing. But this one fits fine. It still did, uh, it did require a little bit of um, uh, persuading to get it on, but it does fit fine. And then I just need to paint this bolt head black um, because it comes silver, which is a bit annoying. But now I'm just in the middle of putting everything back together. Bottom pannier, radiator cover, um, belly pan, uh, or, uh, putting the brake lever back up. Um, and then it should be all finished uh, when you put the air box back in. Uh, but yeah, just bottling it back now. finally got the stickers on the brand new ones and it's finally all done the only last thing I got to do which I'll do at some point when I can be bothered is paint that screw black um, but the new stickers they sent uh, were quite easy to put on but they're actually a bit brighter which I actually prefer because it looks more like the silver here they're not as dark um, and I think it matches the uh, the blade here a lot nicer as well so yeah it's looking really really smart now um, I'm I'm happy with it. Uh, one thing I do need to do next is this paint's flaking off this heat shield of the uh, exhaust. Uh, I do plan on replacing the exhaust at some point anyway, uh, but I'm going to have to strip all the paint off that and put some new paint on it, but not that big of a deal. But yeah, looking awesome now. Finally happy with it. And I'm in the lakes at the minute, Windermere, which I had a ride up here because it's actually the first. Oh, look at that. Is that a Mustang Bullet edition? Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, first bit of sun we're getting in the 2024. Um, so I've actually brought the bike out, um, but it's looking sharp. Um, so yeah, happy with that. If you like the video, please drop a like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you want any info on any of the process. But yeah, it looks, uh, looks really good.